His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered his sincere condolences and heartfelt sympathy to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the passing of His Highness Sheikh Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. The representative of the ruler in the Al Ain region at Mishraf Palace in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty the King also extended his condolences and sympathy to the children of the deceased, his brothers, the esteemed Al Nahyan family, and the people of the United Arab Emirates, praying to Allah the Almighty to envelop the deceased with his vast mercy and grace and grant him a place in the highest ranks of paradise and Al Nahyan family patience and solace. His Majesty recalled the achievements and virtues of the deceased, who was one of the loyal figures of the United Arab Emirates and a companion in the journey of His Highness. Sheikh Zuyaid bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may Allah have mercy on him and bless his soul, commending his accomplishments, efforts and contributions in serving his country, society and the people of the United Arab Emirates. The President of the United Arab Emirates and the children of the deceased expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his heartfelt fraternal sentiments, sincere prayers, and the embodiment of the deep-rooted and close fraternal relations that bind the two countries and their respective people. They pray to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty and bless him with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King had arrived in the United Arab Emirates where he was received by UAE's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the ambassadors of both countries. His Majesty departed from Abu Dhabi, returning safely to his homeland. His Majesty was bid farewell by His Highness, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Interior of the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a message on the occasion of the World Press Freedom Day, observed on May the 3rd annually. His Majesty expressed appreciation and gratitude to the national press, which performs its noble duty of serving Bahrain with efficiency, honesty, objectivity within a framework of responsibility that supports the nation's efforts on the path of development and preserves its gains. His Majesty said that Bahrain enjoys the international community joins the international community in celebrating the occasion this year under the slogan a press for the planet journalism in the face of the environmental crisis to emphasize the pivotal role of the press in supporting the efforts of countries and governments to achieve global security and stability as they are basic and indispensable needs for human development 
His Majesty noted that the effects of climate change are a threat to global peace and stability and the future of humanity, which requires the solidarity of all to ensure global environmental security and increases the importance of the role of the press in raising local and global awareness. By spreading correct information and data and motivating communities to take the initiative to preserve the environment. His Majesty the King stated that as part of the efforts to enhance sustainable development, the Kingdom has prioritized environmental issues through a number of national initiative strategies and plans, adding that Bahrain affirmed its commitment to the Paris Agreement and what was announced at the Glasgow summit on reducing emissions and launched the National Action Plan Blueprint Bahrain to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060, the National Energy Strategy and the Climate Technology Fund, and many other initiatives as part of Bahrain's endeavors to protect the environment and human health and support the efforts of the international community towards a world with a better quality of life. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his leadership of the government to achieve His Majesty's aspirations for the development of the nation as well as his follow-up of the efforts to preserve the environment and sustain its resources. His Majesty urged the national press and media to continue to address environmental issues and to increase content that raises the awareness of individuals and society on environmental issues and their impact according to the steps Bahrain takes in this vital field. His Majesty affirmed pride in Bahraini press and media caters and their keenness on developing their skills in line with the rapid development in digital media and artificial intelligence. He wished that their efforts and creativity will continue in order to enhance Bahrain's status as a civilized hub at the regional level. His Majesty the King stated that the national press's commitment to the constitutional and legal framework that supports freedom of the press, enabled it to play its role openly to become an effective and influential element in the nation's development and prosperity, which is an example for honest and free speech, reflecting the aspirations of society. His Majesty added that selecting Manama as the capital of Arab Media 2024 by the Council of Arab Information Ministers affirms the high status of the national press and media in light of their commitment to authentic press values. He expressed hope that the selection will create further Arab cooperation, particularly with Bahrain's hosting of the 33rd Arab League this month. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Information toward further development of press and media work, expressing appreciation for its support to youth press and media caters and their qualification to shoulder the responsibility of expressing the nation's development and maintaining the national identity. His Majesty commended the contributions of national press institutions and Bahrain Journalism Society to supporting the growth and development in Bahrain and their commitment to delivering a media message that conforms to the standards and values of professionalism. He wished press and media personnel in Bahrain continued success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, head of the Commonwealth at the Kingdom of Bahrain's pavilion during the Royal Windsor Horse Show Endurance Race held at the Windsor Great Park. The meeting took place on the sideline of His Royal Highness's visit to the UK to attend the Royal Windsor Horse Show on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was also present at the meeting. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the long-standing Bahrain-UK relationship which is based on multi-sectoral collaboration and strategic partnership that continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and King Charles III. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's commitment, uh, commitment to furthering the multi-sector collaboration between the two kingdoms to meet mutual aspirations, including within the horse racing and equestrian sectors. His Royal Highness commended His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad on his participation along with his children in several international endurance races, wishing them success in promoting the Kingdom of Bahrain across all fields. His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahraini jockey's participation in the international championship among the top race horse jockeys is a great opportunity to showcase the kingdom's talents and expertise in this sport. In this regard, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad outlined the kingdom's ongoing development of the horse racing and equestrian sector, an integral part of Bahrain's cultural heritage.
His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the Kingdom's jockeys and their distinguished participation in regional and international competitions. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the Royal Windsor Horse Show as a prestigious international equestrian competition that continues to witness strong turnout year after year from elite horses and jockeys. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the United Kingdom's efforts in organizing the event, which has led it to become one of the oldest and most important races in the world of equestrian sport. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the organizers of the event and wished them continued success in future championships. His Royal Highness the viewed the Royal Windsor Endurance Race. His Royal Highness also attended several competitions and displays at the Royal Windsor Horse Show held in the United Kingdom. The event was attended by His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and various international equestrian professionals. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad witnessed the crowning of several winners from various races and competitions, congratulating the winners and wishing all competitors continued success in future events. A number of senior officials were also in attendance.
His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Royal Endurance Team Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the veterinary examination procedures prior to their participation in the Windsor Endurance Festival for 80 kilometer endurance races held at Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom in the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Rush Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Supreme Committee, and member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser followed the veterinary examination procedures in preparation for participating with his children, Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed that his participation with his children in the race aims to achieve multiple objectives serving as support for them in their athletic journey in the sport of endurance, which requires high guidance and capabilities, hoping that the children will be able to move steadily towards achieving their aspirations and goals and wishing them success and prosperity in this new European endeavor. He expressed his appreciation for the remarkable efforts made by the organizing committee of the festival in providing the factors for the success of the veterinary examination, looking forward to the continuation of these efforts throughout the event. His Highness led the final training session with his children, with the participation of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who will be participating in the 80 kilometer race. His Highness also met the riders of the Royal Endurance Team and a number of riders from the United Arab Emirates participating in the festival. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Commander of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the 80 kilometer race within the Windsor Equestrian Endurance Festival, which was held at the Grand Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom. This participation comes with the aim of enhancing the capabilities of His Highness's children in the race and their support as His Highness's children pass the stages successfully and competently. The leadership and directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser constituted an important turning point in the journey of His Highness's children at the event, where His Highness's children, Her Highness Sheikha Shayma bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, raced successfully with determination and precision. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the riders of the Royal Team on the occasion of winning the titles of 160 kilometers, 120 kilometers, and 100 kilometer races.
The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman al Salam, praised the content of the royal message of His Majesty the King on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day. He commended the national role played by the Bahraini press in fulfilling its noble mission with honesty and responsibility. In light of the comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King, with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, al Salam pointed out the continuous parliamentary support for the tasks and responsibilities of media institutions. In support of the official efforts to address the environmental crisis, which is the theme of this year's celebration of World Press Freedom Day. He expressed appreciation to the Ministry of Information, the Bahrain Journalists Association, media institutions, and all the national caterers working in the journalistic and media sector for their prominent contributions in achieving the desired goals and aspirations in a professional, civilized, free, and responsible manner. And on the occasion of the World Press Freedom Day, the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh affirmed that the progress and development achieved by the Bahraini press is a result of the care, attention, support and backing from His Majesty the King, recognizing its national role and contributions in supporting the comprehensive development march of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to elevate the mission of the media sector and encourage the Bahraini press and media professionals to continue their work with a sense of responsibility that enhances awareness and knowledge within society and contributes to highlighting the developmental achievements accomplished by the kingdom during the prosperous reign of His Majesty the King. He also praised the commitment and responsibility demonstrated by the local press in fulfilling its mission and its professional and national role which contributes to supporting the comprehensive and sustainable development journey in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates World Press Freedom Day, taking pride in recognizing the valuable professional role and constructive contributions of Bahraini journalism, which plays a vital role in supporting comprehensive development initiatives across various fields, with a particular emphasis on environmental endeavors. More details in this report. Journalists worldwide unite to celebrate World Press Freedom Day, observed every year on May 3rd, as declared by UNESCO. This year's theme, A Press for the Planet, Journalism in the Face of the Environmental Crisis, underscores the vital role of journalism and media in raising awareness about pressing environmental issues and their profound impact on all aspects of life. The Kingdom of Bahrain actively participates in this global commemoration, utilizing its journalism, media platforms, and national journalistic and media institutions to address various topics with a particular focus on the environment. Locally and internationally, Bahrain highlights its environmental endeavors, showcasing a comprehensive array of national initiatives, strategies, legislative measures, and regulatory frameworks aimed at combating pollution and climate change. Additionally, the kingdom places significant emphasis on its commitment to achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. In parallel, it promotes accurate information dissemination and fosters an environmentally conscious culture among the public to enhance society awareness. As our planet faces formidable challenges, including climate change, biodiversity loss, and environmental pollution, the role of journalism and media in raising awareness about these environmental risks grows significantly, as they play a pivotal role in highlighting the threats posed to the environment and supporting the efforts of countries and governments to address environmental challenges. The Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, participated in the ministerial meeting of the 15th session of the Islamic Summit Conference held in Banjul in the Republic of Gambia. The meeting discussed several issues on the agenda, most notably the resolutions related to the Palestinian cause in Jerusalem the draft of the final summit statement, and the Banjul Declaration, as well as issues concerning the rejection of hate, speech, and Islamophobia, the promotion of dialogue, climate change, and food security, which will be presented to the Islamic Summit at the leaders' level under the theme of enhancing unity and solidarity through dialogue for sustainable development. Government hospitals have successfully obtained accreditation in several medical specialties from the Saudi Commission for Health Specialities. On this occasion, the Chief Executive Officer of the Government Hospitals, Dr. Maryam Adbi Al-Jalahma, 
emphasized the commitment to providing training opportunities and enhancing partnerships with accredited training institutions to offer programs that enhance the efficiency of national health care professionals and achieving sustainability and growth in health care services. She added that the success of the government hospitals in obtaining this accreditation confirms their dedication to developing plans and strategies for all units within Salmania Medical Complex with the aim of improving and elevating the services provided and enhancing the therapeutic experience for patients. Dr. Al Jalahm explained that obtaining Saudi accreditation will open doors for doctors who have completed their training to pursue further studies and obtain fellowship certification in specialized fields through various programs in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia or at internationally recognized medical centers. The first meeting of the Board of Directors of the Gulf Press Union, hosted by the Qatar Press Center, concluded after three days of participation from the heads of associations, organizations, and press centers in the Gulf countries. During the meeting, a set of decisions and recommendations were adopted for implementation in the coming period, including the opening of membership, naming new committees, as well as approving the minutes of the preparatory meeting held in Manama last January. The meeting also approved the new union logo, the adoption of the website, and the approval of several training programs, as well as discussing the development of financial resources. The Board of Directors also discussed other topics related to enhancing the union's work processes, upcoming action plans, and designating Isa Ashaji as acting chairman during the coming period. The Bahrain Camel National Team ranked second in the overall standings of the first Arab Camel Cup Championship, which was held today in Al Ula Governorate in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Saudi team was able to win the first titles of the first Arab Camel Championship, while the Emirati team came third. The president of the Arab Camel Federation, Prince Fahad bin Jlouwi bin Abdul Aziz bin Msaid, crowned the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, headed by the Vice Chairman of the Bahraini Committee for Folklore Sports, Ali bin Muhammad Al-Fadl Al-Marri, and member of the Board of Directors of the Bahraini Committee for Folklore Sports, Camel National Team Manager, Muhammad bin Ayl Al-Zaba Al-Marri, with gold cups in the three rounds that our team won. <laughs> 